Uh, what up guys, Shady Cash here bringing you another commentary. In a previous commentary I had done, I stated it was double XP this week. Well, I guess I was ranking up pretty fast because uh, double XP starts this weekend. I'm, I'm doing this commentary on Friday, the what, 4th or 5th or something. Shit, I should probably look that up before I did it. But uh, anyway... It's it's going on this weekend, you know, double XP and everything, so, uh, you know, take advantage of that. This is Kowloon. This is, to me, the most impressive map. I just think the scale of it and everything they did with it, it's it's amazing. Uh, you'll see right off the bat here that, basically, we get in a situation in Domination that I hate. Uh, it, it's when, you know, you, you pull that three flag cap right away and you throw their whole spawn out of whack. Usually, if, if you got A and B, it, you know, it's just safe to keep it that way. You know you're going to keep their spawn coming from C. You know which direction they're going to be coming from. You can even have a couple people kind of moved up on C. If you don't move too far, they'll keep spawning in that general vicinity. Once you go cap it, all you do is you flip it. They're going to start spawning at A, and they're just going to take it. Now you've put all that distance between you and them, they have a better chance of taking B. And you'll see that happen here. We go from being in a really good situation to, uh, you know, just a situation like I said, I don't like to be in. And right before this match, I was playing with a Chrono Monkey from my clan. And we were playing a few games, and I got a message from one of my friends, and him and another one of my friends on my friends list asked if, uh, you know, we could pick him up after the match, and we said, sure. And when we backed out to the lobby, I noticed that I had enough money to buy my chopper, gunner, and dogs. My uh, chopper, gunner, and dogs aren't kill streaks I run every match. I'm not very, uh, I'm not greedy like that, I guess you could say. I, I like to use, like, UAVs and uh, blackbirds and stuff like that. Usually, you'll see me running, like, a UAV, blackbird, and either chopper, gunner, or dogs. It depends on which gun I'm using. But, you know, I mean, it's fun to pull those high kill streaks off, so I do put them on once in a while. But I didn't plan on having them on very long, and I had asked at the beginning of the match, you know, like, hey guys, since you're coming into our game and everything, could we just cap our spawn point and then cap B if we, you know, if that's the way the match plays out, and then just hold those two, you know, rack up some kills and get some defensive. Uh, Metals and everything. I mean, those in, those earn you 200 XP for when you kill somebody that's taken a flag, or you earn 200 XP for killing somebody that's on their point. So, if you cap a point, you get 150. You know, it's it's just it's better for uh, everything the, the game. I mean, there's a reason you get more XP for defending it or being aggressive on it than you do. For capping it and it's because you know I mean that's the way the game's supposed to be played you're supposed to cap a point cap two points and hold them I mean maybe that's not the way the game's supposed to be played and there are some games where I'll cap all three points but those are ones where it's like my whole clan and we're just like let's see you know how high of a score we can get or how fast we can end this you know that's not the strategy that we play with just because it makes it too rough, you know, I mean, why have to do all that running around when you can sit back with your two points and have just kind of an easy game? Once you cap those three points, you know, their spawn's just completely out of whack. You don't know where they're coming from, so it makes it a lot harder to get kills. Uh, or at least get those high kill streaks. And, you know, it just it really doesn't serve much of a purpose. But, uh... And, and you'll see here, I, I was I was being a little pouty about it. Usually I'm a lot more objective-oriented. I mean, I've, I've posted games where I've had 12 defense, which, I am I mean, it's not the most ever or anything like that. But, you know, I definitely play the flags, but I was playing with a whole team of people that, you know, were like friends or in, in our party or whatever. So I really didn't feel bad about it in some ways. You know, I was just kind of like... You know, come on. I mean, I, I know that's probably a little, uh, I guess you could call it childish, you know, like, play the way I want to play. But, I don't know, you know, I just wanted to get my kill streak off. 
one time, switch it back, and be done with it, and you know, have a little fun and rain down hell for two minutes, and wasn't happening. Well, you know, it did, but it took a lot of convincing to get these guys to just cap two points. I, I there was one match on here where there was a dude on our team had nine caps or something like that, and and was like two and twenty-two, and uh. The enemy called in three chopper gunners on us in one match, and dogs once, and that's like, oh, and, and three blackbirds, I think, maybe even four, I mean, that's just, like, really annoying to have to deal with when you're playing a game, having to deal with all these uh, killstreaks getting called out, and the main reason is because, you know, your team's running around capping every point usually, it seems like. I just think it's a safe strategy to cap uh, two points and hold them. You know, so basically when you're watching this, this is like totally the way you shouldn't play domination. You know, you, you shouldn't not pay you know attention to the objectives. I wasn't just because I this dude on my team like seriously just that's all he cared about was those captures. You know, and you know it's 150 XP. I'd rather just you know, defend and have a nice, safe game. But I'm done with that little rant. It was like six minutes long. And uh, I just, I'm going to talk about the level a little bit now, I guess. So here you'll see me coming up the bottom way from A to B. Uh, right here is a really high traffic area. You see that guy that just ran up there? I'm not going to go that way because that's just a really easy way to get killed. Uh, usually there will be somebody above B, especially if the enemy has a cap like they do right now. Just watch in that spot. You know, if you go there, go around. There's a few different ways to get there. I'm taking the long way just because, you know, we got a pretty comfortable lead right here. And I, I got that dude on my team that's capping every single point. Uh, so, you know, I'm just kind of playing it safe. This is a good way to get up to be right here. Not, uh, you know, a lot of times you'll be coming that way. And if, especially if you're in a public lobby and you've got like three or four of your team pushing that other spot that I was talking about, the high traffic area, you can sneak up behind them pretty easy right here and they won't even notice you. This is another good way to get around to be. Again, they're going to be watching that high traffic area. And uh, I took a different route. I went into this building here. This this is a nice little spot. It looks out pretty much right around the general area where they're all spawning. You're not so far into their spawn that you're going to uh, flip it or anything like that. But it's a nice place to sit. And... They have they have zip lines in this level. I if I wish if I had known I was going to upload this video, that I should have been thinking about it and I would have just used them just because uh you know, I I, I want you guys to see them if you haven't had a chance to play, and, you know, check them out. They're really a bad idea to use. I've had a good result come out of them once. It was pretty funny. I came right down over this dude's head and fell down behind him off the zip line and turned around and tomahawked him. That's that's the one time it's ever worked out for me. Every other time, you, you know, you can't pull your gun out. You're just a sitting duck there. And I just think it's probably a wise move. There's so many shortcuts through buildings in this level and different ways you can take. You have pretty quick access to anywhere. Uh, you know, so really I just think it's a better idea to avoid those zip lines. Avoid, you know, the temptation of shaving, like, literally just a few seconds off you're getting to be by going that way. Here's a zip line right there. You know, you'll see I don't take it. I'm not trying to get down there anyway. And there I go. I finally got my dogs. I felt like it was literally the hardest I've ever had to work to get a kill streak off in this game. Uh... You know, it didn't have to be like that. And I, I remember right here, too, being like, hey, we're uh, way in the lead. Could you please, please not take B, please? Because my dogs are going to be here for, like, longer than the game's going to last. So, you know, and the dude, like, he's in my party. You know what I mean? Like, he, he joined my party and asked if he could play the game with us. 
And then wouldn't even let my dogs, you know, my second wave of dogs just coming out when the game ends. And they're boom. Really? All three? Like that was necessary? I mean, come on, guy. Why you gotta be like that? Anyway. Kowloon, it's an awesome level. Uh, yeah. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate the views. Have a good one.